<laughs> you, you owe me. You owe me a lot. I do. I do. I'm going to miss our LeBron battles, even though he's still the phony goat. But <laughs> I, I'm going to miss our cowboy yeah, arguments. Yeah, this thing, How about them cowboys? Because you were right about my doubt. Yeah, I swear, if this nigga bring up Brady, I'm slapping him across. His, I'm slapping him right across the desk. This your time for. This ain't even time to talk about LeBron, gang. This is time for me and you. Like, we really been rocking with the show. Don't tell me about your hatred for LeBron. Talk about me, nigga. And if you mention Tom Brady, I'm slapping you. All power rule, nigga. Yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. First of all, here's the thing. Yo, let me tell you. You know they're giving fake love to each other? This is why I could tell this nigga, Shannon, don't fuck with this nigga, skip it all. Nigga, is, this is Shannon Sharp's goodbye period. And Skip start hogging the mic already. Yo, nigga, I'm saying goodbye. You still gonna be here, nigga. Let me talk. Shut the fuck up. How the hell you wanna talk more about my shit than me? <laughs> Skip, he, yo, I'm telling you, man. This nigga Skip, bro, he don't stop. Look, I'll how stop. the fuck am I saying goodbye? Now I'm shutting up listening to your yo stupid ass. My voice from day one. Right. Hold on, man. It's probably the perfect time to... Draymond Green, that nigga, man. Get that nigga that Jordan Poole treatment, man. Just have, just for the one time, man. You know, I, if he really kept it real, he would have get his speech would have went like this. Listen, man, I was having a good time cooking the, the food with you, man. Until you start dis disrespecting the ingredients I brought to the table, nigga. You feel me? We get it. You the OG debater, journalist, but nigga, you know I'm the OG player, nigga. Nigga, I'm in the league, nigga. Nigga, I went to the fucking Hall of Fame, nigga. And you was up here sitting up with the smug look on your face, disrespecting me, saying I was jealous of Brady, all because you want to be his fucking jockstrap? Nigga, I would have slapped the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> nah, I'm playing, I'm playing. Play. Hell no. Nah. Yo, I love Skip, too. I think people, I think Skip gets the, the worst rap out of all media personalities. Let me tell you this. <clears throat> there is no greater person in media that could create stars like Skip Bayless. Without someone like Skip, none of these shows work. You need someone who could be, who is a little bit hateable but lovable at times. You love to hate him. Shannon is not a love to hate person. He's the good guy. You're going to love him. If he goes somewhere and tries to have another show like this with another good guy, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Stephen A. Smith kind of figured out how to be the lovable good guy in a different way. Like, you know, Skip Bayless is is, is, the, is just the, the most hateable. That's why it's easier for him to create stars. So while people shit on Skip, you have to understand. Some of these tired old takes, the LeBron takes, the Brady dick suck, all these shit that, that um, Skip Bayless does, that's why the ratings come in. Remember when I was doing a show with Joe? Let me tell you this, man. Joe being the old, that's why I always said, I, didn't, I don't know if me and Joe get back together. It would be the same chemistry. Not because of me and him, but just off the fact that Joe used to have a fuck these new guys type of mentality. These days, Joe don't care about what the new guys are doing. He's not upset anymore about the new deals these guys are signing. He's happy. He's rich. Without the person who's going to be that curmud curmudgeon or whatever you, that word is, or that person who's going to like be the irritator or, 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 or do kind of what Skip does, the show isn't really that much of a draw if y'all both agreeing. You get what I mean? Like, I remember when... um. Uh, I, I did a great show with Jinx, but what we agreed the most of the time, like even with Wayno at first, like because we only had a few topics that me and Wayno didn't agree with, and it was like it had to be like six nine or something like that. But th these shows are really driven off disagreement now, and, and it's not just disagreement; it's entertaining disagreement. That's why I think Skip th straddles that line or tries to off disrespect. You know what I mean? Like, 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 yo, put your glasses back on. Like, again, I, I, I don't think this nigga want to really see hands with none of these dudes. Like, after the shit, I think what he, what he's kind of doing is basically, yo, he's trying to give people what they want in a sense. So I, I think people give Skip a bad, a bad rap. We all love uh, um, Shannon Sharp. I think he's a great guy. I think he has a lot of integrity to what he says and what he does. We do like it, but let's not act like he blew up on some show, <clears throat> which is like him just giving his opinion without arguing against someone for him to be great his teammate needed to be great too you get what i mean that's why i always said even when i did everyday struggle i wish a older version maybe like me in 2020 or even 2019 could have been the person to be debating with joe because 
I like there's a lot of times I felt like I was in a spin cycle. I didn't realize when Joe was going over the table and doing some of these things. I was thinking like, yo, 10 minutes early, we were taking like shots of Henny in the in the fucking green room. Like, what, like what you doing right now? He was playing to the cameras. He was playing it up for entertainment. Did he believe the things he was saying? Yes. But he knew how to sell it. What was the byproduct of it of him selling it that way? Of some of the takes we had, some of the disagreements. Bro, in nine months, it was like one of the most electric shows in hip-hop. So I get it. So as much as I want to sit here and I want to say, yo, Shannon Sharp, you're going to be a star because we love you at this point. And you're going to go on and do great things. I don't want nobody shit on Skip. Skip go make another person. He just got to pick who. Promise you, Skip go make another person. Skip is going to make another star. And Skip and I see people think that Skip got to go run back under Stephen A. No. Like, again... This is going to be, you know, I don't know how old Skip is, but this is going to be a common theme you, you see with Skip because there's going to be a burnout among everybody who does a show with him. Skip is the boss. Now you do some show with Skip and essentially you become um, you become now really liked and then that power dynamic changes and shit, you're not going to, you know, in Jamaican saying they say two dogs can't rain in one pen. You get what I mean? Or two bull can't rain in one pen. So again, Skip is going to have to create a new Shannon Sharp. I think he's still passionate about what he does, and I still think he's going to be able to do it. And I think Shannon, if you ask me what he's going to do, he's going to double down on the podcast. I think he's going to find the lane. I, I, you know, he has a knack for this um, um, debate shit, but I, I watch him on his podcast, and he's a fucking natural. I think he's the perfect liaison. We see Stephen A. Smith trying to do that now. Stephen A. Smith is getting more on regular hip-hop podcasts Right? How many times have we been on Breakfast Club? She's been on even on Full Send. He's been on uh, Mike Tyson's podcast with Mike Tyson smoking weed. But we also see him getting into a lot more politics. See, like he was on Fox News talking about uh, up a bunch of storm. I think Shannon Sharp is the best person to be like. He could be the mainstream guy of what like all the smoke is. You get what I mean? He could be like the Gillian Wallow in a sense of like, and, and I, hope, I hope that's not, you know. Um, either putting them down or, or putting him in, in in a whatever position. But, yeah, I, I think he could have a show that is culturally based in sports but touches on hip-hop and touches on pop culture. You know, I don't want to hear Skip talk about nothing else. Like, I've seen recently uh, we had Stephen A. Smith, and he was mentioning Cardi B. And even then I was like, Stephen A., I don't want you to talk about music. You get what I mean? I think uh, Shannon Sharp a little bit could, could get into that, and I wish him the, I wish him luck. Whatever he's gonna do, um, I, I can't imagine him jumping to another debate show because if he does, what that would tell me is that Skip was so fucking intolerable that he left a hit debate show to go. Because in reality, yo, Stephen A. Smith is a ratings demon, but this show, Undisputed, is way more entertaining than than, than First Take. Let's keep it a hundred. Let's keep it a hundred, man. So I, I I can't believe he's gonna get to another um show like this because there's only one Skip Bayless. Okay, um we'll see though. We'll see. I wish him luck. Right. From day one, you say, "What else you need from me?" I said, "I need loyalty and I need honesty." He said, "Uncle Shay, I'm gonna ride with you till the wheels fall off, and when the wheels fall off, I'm gonna get out and walk with you mm. to my right. video." My video. Wait, why you pressing one? First take with Max was whack as shit, my nigga. Like, bruh, most of these shows about theatrics, man. Max was really trying to make a point. Like, bruh, come on, nigga. Nigga, spit it out. Like, that nigga was doing a whole bunch of word salad. I think it was sounding like T.I., nigga. T.I. after reading a dictionary, nigga. You know, of course, he expeditionally got to the goal line. And after he got to the goal line, of course, you know, shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> I fuck with Max. I'm just saying, nigga. We, 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 we know these shows about bullshit. Like, these shows about bullshit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I knew this thing was a legend once that nigga, once that, that nigga brought out the, the Henny C and Black and Moth? Come on. All right, man. Uh, let's get back to the belly shit. Sorry. Uh.